Go for it. I am uh, Tiago from TVS Aquatics. So uh, just going to go through uh, with you guys uh, a little bit about skimmers. Everyone's asking questions how they work and, and so forth. So I'm just going to go briefly uh, through and just show you roughly how they work. We have a uh, skim skimmer. Basically, I'm going to go through with it with you guys, starting off at the base. Basically, water has to be fed to the skimmer. In this particular skimmer, you have a pump which basically you can't see it from here. As the water goes into the sump, it actually brings it up and through the skimmer. And on this particular one, you've got two pumps which churn the water and also feed the bubbles. Um, the skimmers do vary a fair bit. Um, there's ones that um, get gravity fed and so forth. On this particular one, we've got a pump that feeds the actual skimmer. Now, how they actually work, um, to put it in simple terms, um, skimmers, or the, 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 the air in the actual skimmer, creates hundreds of bubbles, which therefore are attracted, uh, what, it attracts protein and waste, fish waste, fish food, um, and what it does is, it basically foams, starts to bubble, and as you can see up the top here, this is the end result. All the protein and so forth get pushed up to the top, where then you can actually take out this cup of the shades. There we go, and you can physically just go out and clean that out and empty it out. You don't want to smell this stuff, it absolutely reeks. Um, so that, the skimmer is so important because it actually physically takes out the waste out of the system. Whereas if you've got normal filtration systems, they process the waste basically. That's why um, with skimmers are important because you're physically taking out um, protein out of your water. 